and welcome to Unusual Radio with Tanya and my co-host, Ed. <laughs> me, under here. So, hold on, we need to get him more in the picture. There we go. There we go. Excuse me, I burped. Anyway, hello, Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Okay, it is currently 48 degrees out and raining. It's not really cold, so I can't really complain. No, it's like considering. It's beautiful. Um, but I was out there singing in the rain. Tomorrow is going to be rainy and high of 57, but then we go to the following day, Wednesday, we're going to be a high of 38 and snow. Whoa. This is New Jersey. Whoa. Hello, Anthony. <clears throat> so, yeah, I have a few things, uh, you know, I, I'm going to be discussing this Hello, evening. Um, I had a very interesting weekend with Diane, my best friend. We had a lot of fun, um, but I'll be touching on that in just a little bit. Um, I'll now, be touching myself, he says, wearing a hot dog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're an idiot. Okay. Now, uh -huh. I'm, I'm wondering how many people have an advent calendar that you use for Christmas. Hmm. Do I, you have one, Ed? I do not. Well, Although I recently found one for dogs. Did you? Mm-hmm. I guess behind everything is a, is a little treat. <laughs> Thomas said, shit, go with the shades, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hello, Lisa. Hello, Thomas. Whoop. Hello, Diane. Hello, Diane. Hello, Lisa. So I'm just wondering who has an advent calendar. Because I'm thinking, in the spirit of Christmas and the spirit of this show, um, there needs to be like a sexcapades calendar for countdown to Christmas. That's just yeah. my. That's just what I'm thinking. Um, Ed weirdo. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I have been called that many times over the last thirty years. <laughs> um. So hello, Anthony. Um, hello, Anthony again. Yes. So, yes, I think that we need to make <laughs> an advent calendar that has to do with dirty little deeds that you have to do up until Christmas Day. Whoa. For those of you that are in relationships. Is one of them digging in the mud? Ooh, that's dirty. No. Oh, different kind of dirty? Yeah. Maybe like this? Uh, you did not. <laughs> hey, at least I didn't say whoa. <laughs> Now playing every night. Now this month. I will have you know, I showed Diane the trailer from Squirms, and she even agreed. She understands now why I freak out over that. I never had an issue until I saw that movie, and it just freaked me out. And I'm like the horror queen. I love horror movies. Whoop. This one, no. Thomas so. comes through again. What? 24 days of sex and seduction advent calendar. Yes. Dude, I want that.com. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm already there and I'm going to order it. Try arching your back a little and pop your left leg over. Yep, like that. Perfect. That's Santa hanging down in the chimney upside down telling them what to do. <laughs> Thanks, Anthony. Um. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> anyway, yes. So, I, I do. I think anyone who's in a relationship, you need to start an advent calendar and do something a little naughty every day until Christmas. And then I want to hear about it. Well, not well, all I mean, of it. You yeah. know, <laughs> just <laughs> not... So Paint it with a broad brush. That's all. <laughs> yes. I don't need details. I just want to know, like, what you did every day, like, how you planned it out, whatever. That's it. I don't need your 
30s. Um, so, uh, yeah. Now, the other thing, which I think is really cute, how many of you girls are going to Hello, Robin. be nice and naked and tie yourself in a bow? Oh, girls? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Or guys. You can always wrap that up. I almost did that in Tennessee. <laughs> did you? One of, one of the years I was down there. Not the first year because Christmas was like four months later. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, Joe. Hey, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. Uh, Anthony. <laughs> I think you've mentioned that a few times. Yes, you can, Thomas. I agree. I totally <clears throat> agree with that. Um, but I'm just saying yes. to spice up relationships, you know, do a little advent calendar. But if you're single... Hell, anything goes. I mean, come on. You know, single. Do what I'm gonna do. Order one of those calendars, <laughs> and when you get it, just walk through the mall and just start talking to random women that are single and say, "Hey, look, would you like to do number, you know, number three? <laughs> and they're gonna smack you in the face. First thing I'm gonna do is look for number sixty-nine. I don't think it's gonna be there though. <laughs> or eighty-eight. And you could also do get a sexy little outfit and do a sexy Santa lap dance. Ooh. There you go. That's right. <clears throat> now, this one I thought was hysterical, okay? They actually have a thing called spin the dreidel. I about pissed my pants because I was bitching because my ornaments that are missing, I always put up a dreidel for my friends who are Jewish. So when I saw this, I actually was laughing. It was, I was like, spin the dreidel? Really? <laughs> now what? I mean, they will come up with anything these days. So. <clears throat> okay, here we go. No, he's wearing a hot dog. Yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to get in there and type it, but this thing is like creeping along. Right. <laughs> Anthony said the kid's afraid to go to her house on Halloween. Hello, Rich. Hello, Rich. <laughs> so, I don't know. Okay, now one thing I do want to talk about, okay. Okay. Those of you who are lesbian or bi, I need to understand, if you're lesbian, what is the purpose of a dildo? If you like that going in you, why don't you just like a penis? I'm confused about this. So I would like yeah. someone to tell me why, if you're doing girl on girl, you're going to need a little penetration that way. So mm -hmm. I'm just wondering because <clears throat> I don't understand how all that works. So if somebody could let me know, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah. So, now... I don't know who watched the video. This weekend was hysterical. I'm telling you, I was pissing my pants. Freaking Diane's a freaking riot. Anyway, um, did you see the video where she had said about the um, savings certificate? And it was so funny how that even came out because she, she, we were driving. She's like, oh, I have to go home and I have to get my coupon. I was like, what? What? <laughs> what? And she's like, I meant saving certificate. And that's when it just came out. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> so and you, you cross video, videoized yourselves. Yes, we did. You recorded each other, recording each other. Yes, we did. It's hilarious. So, uh, so for now on, when you go out, use your savings certificates, um, because obviously people misunderstood how coupon is spelt. It's C O, not Q U. It's not coupon. It's coupon. Coo. So C O U P O N. Yes, coupon. 
that is not coupon. So to avoid any of this mishmash, we'll, we're going to go with Diane's new word, which is a savings certificate. Savings certificate. Now, the other part <clears throat> of the video, I don't know if you saw, um, had to do with a place that I've never been to. And I, we were driving past it, and I said, oh, it's Chick-fil-A. I've never been there. Well, I thought she was going to piss her pants. She's like, what? I'm like, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> it's Christmas. Fa la 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 Chick-fil-A. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to live that one down, but um, it's still going to be Chick-fil-A. It's that's it. It's Chick-fil-A. So I don't know how many other people call it Chick-fil-A, but that's what I call it. And I've never been to one. I've heard that they're good, but I've just never been to one. So, <clears throat> and Diane and I had some really yummy food this weekend. Um, oh, at Quaker Steak and Lube. Quaker Steak Quicker state and lube? Yes. The quicker steak and lube. Yes. The uh, uh, wings fried. Well, you don't do wings. No, we did burgers. And they were yummy. I've, I don't think I've ever been to one of those. They're really good. So There's one on 78, right? Out West Jersey? There's one right next to her house. Oh, okay. Yeah, out that way. So, um, all right. Now, the next thing I want to talk about. Uh. Uh. Uh, uh, by the way, <laughs> trying to think. Oh, you like couch soup coupons? Exactly my point. It's coo, not q. You soup. Yes. Coop. Yes. Exactly. Not q. I Thank grew. You. I grew up. I Thank was you. Saying coupons. I, I, but then I learned years later when I was. I almost just hit you. I build a thing for myself when I became an adult somewhere around 32, 33. <laughs> I actually knew that coupon was wrong. I can't. Somebody correct me. Look at, look at the word. Well, it's just like when people ax. I ax him. It's not ax. It's ask. I axed him. Oh, yeah? What would you ax him? Stop no. saying ax. I actually axed him in the head. He was a douche, so I axed him. Stop saying ax. It's not axe. So <clears throat> he's the grammar Nazi. I can't stand when people mispronounce certain words. Not that I, I mean, I have my own lingo. So, you know, I'm not. Yeah. What did you just call those things? What? Jings or something like that? The jings. <laughs> Your headphones? Like, said, what did you just call I said, them? oh, yeah, I got to get my jings on. <laughs> well, I thought I heard, like, I don't know. These are my jings. So, <clears throat> yes. Hey, Liz. Hey, Liz. Hey, we need to give a shout out. We do. Yes. Well, we waited till she came on. Exactly. So, Ed, would you like to do the honors? Now, hold, hold on, hold on. Before you even go, Liz gave my little baby girls this little Christmas ball of um, treats. My dogs are literally loving these things. I mean, they. I, I shake the ball and they're like, whoop, they come running in. They love them. So, and they don't get the trots from them. So, it's a good thing. So, go ahead. Let's see if that comes up. There you go. See? Oop, wrong way. Yes. Pet, Pet value. Pet value is the store. Yes. And they have, uh, you know, it's a plastic ball put together in half, just like Easter eggs. Yeah. You get them a little, and it's taped so it keeps it shut. And... So pet value, go there and get those <clears throat> treats. If Liz is there, she will tell you what it's they are. They're uncomfortable. They're yeah, it looks stiff and uncomfortable. This is a yummy. Uh, golf thingy. Oh god, here I'll we go. take it off. What? Lisa says I look stuffy or stuffed or something. <laughs> stiff and uncomfortable. That's that's what she said. Really? Yeah. Hold on. I need to catch up on some you know, we have not seen Paul this evening. <laughs> No. Um, What's up with that? <clears throat> yes, coupons. Thomas uh, said earlier if he could tie myself in a bow, he'd be in movies. It's no 
coupon. It's not coupon. Actually, she, I, she wrote what? No. Q coupon? Q coupon? Q coupon. It's no, it's coupon, or it is now known as a savings certificate. If you don't want to say it properly, say savings <laughs> certificate. <laughs> Isn't that something you get at a bank? Squeeze me. <clears throat> Yes. Whoop, hiccups. So, yeah, Pet Value. It's a good store. Oh, Thomas Let's said. Take, takes care of us. Ed, uh, Thomas wants you to put on the makeup. Take a shot. Take off the shirt, apply the makeup, get comfortable. Here we go. <laughs> All righty, baby. And, of course. <laughs> it's coo. Do you not know how to spell C-O? C-O. It's not Q-U. Well, Coupon. C-O-U. Yes. Because Yes, but it's still yeah. coupon. Correct. Just like you said, with soup. C O U. Soup. Couch. Coupon. Couch. Yes. It's a cow pond. Yes. Couch. Do you see how those pond. words C O U work? Soup. Tough. Couch. Coupon. Coupon. If, what did you say? <clears throat> tough. It's T O U G H. Tough. Coupon. Co op on. Co op. But no matter how you slice it, it ain't a Q. No. No, it's not. It's a, it's a savings <laughs> certificate. Lisa's like, oh my God. Yes, I Q U E P O N. <laughs> Coupon. That's why I said it for years. And then somebody, not Tanya, but apparently related to Tanya, slapped me and said, <laughs> look at it, spell it, read it. How is that supposed to be pronounced? Exactly. So, first time I did this show and got whacked with a dildo. I'm like, God damn, I think I met your uh, cousin like 22 years ago. I have no idea what you speak of. So. You never have any idea what <laughs> no, you Louis speak Anthony. of. <laughs> so, yes. So, no, Anthony. So, <laughs> Bite me. <laughs> so, just for future reference, people, okay, it's if you can't say coupon the way it's pronounced, Say a saving certificate. This way, people aren't going to look at you like. Like, what the fuck is a saving certificate? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you decide that you were say coupon, they're going to look at you like, do you not know how to spell? Like, seriously? It's <laughs> C-O. C-O-U. Soup. Yes, Anthony. It's actually just like Cooch Pond. Hey, that's you can say cooch pond because at least you're getting a coo out. And then this cue couch, shit. Couch. I mean, come on, pond. no, no, like that's not okay. We got everybody doing it. Thomas, couch. <laughs> then he spells out the word cow. Cow. I'm sorry. K O W. Cow pond. Yes, yeah, like Kung Pao. You ever see that movie? One of the dumbest, hilarious movies ever. Oh jeez. Cow pie. Uh, you can say cow pie, Lisa. Hey, that works. That, that Excuse I would, me, I have I a twenty percent off. That outside of the Q, because there's no damn Q U. That's that's <clears throat> that's just what gets me. It's not coupon. It's coupon, or as Diane calls it now, saving certificate. <laughs> okay. So. Well, Liz just weighed in on this. Oh, geez. If someone, oh wait, I got blocked. If someone ever says saving certificate to me, I'm slapping them. <laughs> <laughs> and this is also one of your cousins, even though you never knew her before like five months ago. Um, no, I, actually, now I have to go into the store and tell them I have a saving certificate. <laughs> when Liz, Liz, when do you work next? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that's going to get you a free bag of uh, treats to replace those ones in a ball. Excuse me, I won a free saving certificate on my show yes. because I gave you guys a plug. Liz is going to be like like your little uh, demonstration of uh, the front-end manager on the call from a couple weeks ago. Like, yeah, bend over, bend over to the counter. I ain't going to bend over. Right? Liz is going to be like over the counter, her feet flammed behind. Yeah, I'm going to get you. Oh, who are we going to prank tonight? I don't know. I was trying to think of that. I, got a half I, hour I still think that you need to do the Exxon. We need to crank someone. 
You're so good at it. Come on. I am good. I tell you that acne one was fucking off the chart. <laughs> and Exxon, Exxon was pretty good too, but I'm not sure how many people saw that at our, at our two hour and eight minute mark. <laughs> the last three yeah. things we did, yes. the three calls. Yes. And I definitely was conference, by the way, because yours earlier today. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, no. That yesterday, last night, when the you and I and the, yeah, our yeah. friend were talking. Yes. Um, it came up and it said in conference call, and that's exactly what I saw the second time I called the second guy oh. or the third guy, third guy. Right, 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 and right. He answered it, and it was in conference call. So <laughs> I don't know if he put his friend uh, Dan on or if he <laughs> called him, and he was laughing. He obviously right. knew at that point he was praying. That's why I changed gears. I was like, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Bastards make me lose money all the time. I'm sorry. You have a nice weekend. He's like, yeah, you too. And he's laughing. I'm like, well, at least at least he, you know, went along with it. That was kind of funny. Okay, so who I think you need to prank the Exxon about that whole thing. Edgina. Um, maybe. Maybe. No, how about you do it? Give me some damn pretzels. Here, finish them. A pound them. That's all you eat is pretzels. I had a large one today. Yeah, I know. Um, I saw it. I meant large pretzel. Yeah. It was it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um <clears throat> I think my comments are stopping again, unfortunately. Really? I'm gonna do a refresh and mm -hmm. see what comes up. Hold on. Let me get my specs on, see what's going on. Wee. Yep. Yeah, there's seven new ones since uh, let's see. Uh, Q, like cue ball. Cue ball. <laughs> Liz, you saw the Acme one? Or did I play it for you? I think I played it for her. Uh, I think her and one of the other people. Yeah, it was good. It was, actually. Um, so come on. Come on. Let's prank someone. Here you go. Thomas, or uh, Lisa said, uh, me. Tampon. <laughs> Anthony, the Mayu. <laughs> what, what is Edwin eating? Pretzels. Pretzels. I haven't seen that one in a while. Snacks, yes, because I have. I did actually have a couple little breakfast bars, mm -hmm. uh, blueberry and apple cinnamon. Cinnamon. Mm -hmm. You're cutting cinnamon. in on my apple. I'm turning my bottle. It sounded like you were farting. <laughs> like it sounded like little. Oh man, where's my fart to go? Damn. You didn't leave it there, did you? Oh, did you prank her with it? No, I didn't get a oh, chance man. to. Sure you did. No, I had it planned out, but the kids went out, so I couldn't do it. The kids went out. Oh, you wanted them there? Yes, they were going to be part of it. That's so funny. I think now we're talking about it, so now she's going to expect it. Yeah. Just void that, Diane. You didn't hear that. Oh, Liz was watching when we did the uh, the call, the acne one. <laughs> you don't you have to go get Tanya some water now. <laughs> <laughs> you and him. It is so disgusting was, smelling. Was, oh, just, my God. That was just fucked up, man. That was... Mm -hmm. And it took me like four seconds. I come in, I lay the water down, and I'm like, all of a sudden, hey, did you? <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. There is no mistake in that smell. It is the worst nope. smell in the fucking world. <laughs> okay, Ed. Yes. Okay, let's move on here. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Diane, you will die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you were watching. Sorry. Yeah, you ruined it. <laughs> I ruined it. Like, you can still do it. No, I can't because now she's going to know. Now she's going to kill you is what she said. <laughs> she don't know when it's coming. She does not know when it's coming. I didn't know when it was coming. Not only in April, but last week, too. Yes, that's right. I was actually really good with that one. He had no no clue. 
So, okay. In April? Agina. Yes. Can we move along? <laughs> we can. Mm -hmm. You will die. It's fucking great. I love it. <laughs> I'm telling you about peed my pants all weekend. She's a she's a riot. Yeah, that video was That's great. That's why I love her. Boom. We went to a store because I had a key saving certificate. <laughs> and we bought something and I got to save money. <laughs> Sounds like uh, two words. <laughs> what you have at a bank? Money? No, no. Savings? Yes. <clears throat> yeah. You will die. It's great. <laughs> she sounds more like me every day. With yeah. that. You will die. You have been corrupted, Diane. <laughs> now the hat must go on sideways. Oh, for God's sakes. Okay. So, Ed. Yes. You need to be chiming in. You on... want to hear some... Yes, I want to hear something. Some Christmas disasters? I don't care. Well, let's look at Christmas disasters. Okay, let's do that. The best Thanksgiving disaster is always somebody throws the turkey into the fryer on the deck and it burns the house down. Because people don't seem to understand a frozen anything in boiling oil. It's not a good idea. Yeah, not really. And for one thing, why are you having it frozen, for one thing? You always let it thaw. Well, that's... Yeah, well, that's someone who doesn't know what the fuck you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like, man. Excuse me. So let's see. Here we go. Dog sedent. <clears throat> okay. My childhood dog was about 14 and had gone blind earlier that year. I guess since he couldn't see, he got confused by the tree in the house. While we're all sitting around a room, he peed on the tree and blew all the lights. The tree even started smoking, and he walked away completely unfazed. I mm -hmm. peed. Uh, poor dog. One year, a bunch of family was over, and uh, after the sisters and... Uh, okay, and here we go. We're yawning because you're... Really? What? Can you move along? All right. Can you read a little quicker? Daddy, yacked. He had too much wine. He yacked <clears throat> all over the Christmas presents. Oh. And they were all stained red because they were drinking... Red wine. There you go. See? <clears throat> nice. Let's see. Imagine a big Catholic family, grandparents, six kids, everybody's spouses, 14 grandkids. All I remember is my uncle swinging the door open, striding in wearing a shiny sequin purple shirt, holding his partner's hand and yelling at the top of his voice, Dad, I'm gay. Then Grandpa, sitting up from his chair, walked over to the liquor cabinet, opened it, took out a big <laughs> bottle of Crown Royal Whiskey, and took a swig. I love my family. <laughs> you're, yeah. su you're such a king. <laughs> the hot dog keeps, every time you turn your head, it's like. <laughs> what? Oh, this thing? <laughs> you're such a king. <laughs> That's hilarious right there. Okay, continue. <clears throat> Burnt skin and paper. Oh, my ex put wrapping paper on a lit candle. We all tried to put it out, but. Lit pieces of paper flew around the living room. <laughs> so he started grabbing them with his bare hands and running to the sink. The smell of burnt skin and paper filled the house. That's nice. just like, yeah, okay. How about don't light candles or blow them out when you're about to open up the gifts? You No, no, no. But you can't have them right next to everything. No, you can have them on a table. What are you going to do, open your presents on a table? No. No, but, if, but they were open and, and probably throwing the paper and apparently landed on a table with that. <clears throat> okay, continue. Ooh. Continue. Uh -huh. Let's go. Come on. This there. family came home from Christmas Eve mass and uh, found out that the dog had gotten in the stocking stuffers. Stock, stop. Oh, my God. Stocking stuffers. Say that one time, slow Ed, you fucking retard. <laughs> And uh, had eaten over a pound and a half of chocolate. They forced him to vomit, and they stayed up with him all night and uh, let him out every, like, 10, 15 minutes. Woman says she was seven months pregnant at the time. They stayed up with him in shifts. Great. Oh, this is good. A tree disaster. I don't know how this is possible. <laughs> must, have been a, must have been an artificial. The Christmas tree broke in half while I was sitting on the floor next to it. 
fell on my head, an ornament broke, and it cut my head open. What do you fucking hang like glass dishes on your goddamn tree? I mean, I understand if a thing broke and it, and it caught your arm and a little slice, and but if something that cuts your head open had to be pretty damn strong, and was the tree like 28 feet high? So this dish fell from 27 feet down to three and then just literally obliterated your head? Maybe it's just somebody who's a sniveler. You know, you have those people who get a paper cut and they're like, oh my God, it's like the other way. Just shut up. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, this person ended up in the ER in 97 after running through a glass door. Nice. The scar on his forearm burns with every Christmas song played. <laughs> oh, the weather outside is frightening. And I remember when I ran through a glass door. Uh, so, um... Oh, <clears throat> uh, Anthony, my ex-mother-in-law's cooking is a Christmas disaster. Scrooge wouldn't even eat her cooking. Nice. <laughs> my grandfather would have shot them. <clears throat> Lisa, what is he talking about? I was peeing and spaced out. <laughs> peeing? You're watching on your phone. It's good to know that you watch us while you pee. Yes, thank you for bringing us into the bathroom. Tanya often would call me and say, uh, we're peeing now. Not I, we're peeing now. I'm like, oh, that's okay, good. I'll make sure I wipe. <laughs> Hey, if I'm uh, on the phone, well, you know, and you got to pee, you got to pee. Whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> Tree vomit. Here's a good one. This, this person's dad had a Christmas party at work. Everyone brought food, and the next day, the whole family was sick. Nice. Dad vomited on the tree. Nothing says Merry Christmas like tree vomit. If somebody vomits on my tree, they're going to be licking every little pine thing sticking out. Until it's clean. Licking the vomit off it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, somebody's uncle discovered a skunk in the garage. The men, that's the first problem, <laughs> came up with a genius plan to cover it with a towel so its stink couldn't escape. It failed miserably. All 25 of us spent that Christmas crammed into the back grandparents' back room furthest away from the garage. Nice. They had towels over their noses eating crackers. Why didn't they just leave the door open? It would eventually uh, I, go out. I know. That's just stupid. If it was in the garage, it's a, it's a fucking garage. Right. It's meant to have a car in it. And yes. if you don't use it for that, it still has those big doors. Exactly. What leave are they the called? door open. Let them go out. What, what are those things called? Oh, garage doors. Yes. Dumbass. <clears throat> Okay, continue. Right. One Christmas morning, everybody woke up, and oh my God, a kitten was under the tree. The best thing we had ever seen. Aww. But the kitten took one look at us and started throwing itself around the lounge, tearing the presents to shred. <laughs> we started crying when it kept running into the windows. Wow. Our parents came down and yelled, who let this cat in the house? Turns out it was a wild kitten that climbed <laughs> in the window at night and got stuck inside. <laughs> it, wasn't a, it wasn't a pet. It was a possessed <laughs> feral uh cat. feral yes possessed feral rabid cat hmm merry christmas and who the fuck are you <laughs> the weekend before christmas my sister was on the phone to my mother when suddenly my mother says okay honey i have to go i'm getting married tonight married to whom what uh apparently it was true that christmas was awkward because her their mother married a man none of us had ever met or knew existed just a few weeks after getting divorced, whom she had been married to for 40 years. <laughs> like, what do you say? Merry Christmas and who the fuck are you? Pretty much, yeah. That's about it. So, I... uh, <clears throat> huh, this family adopted a dog. Uh -huh. He had a lot of destructive separation anxiety, so we kept him in a crate when they left the house. That's one, so mean. One day they left him for two hours and he managed to bounce his crate seven feet across the room to the tree, pull the bottom half of the tree in through the bars, and ate all the ribbon, branches, lights, and ornaments. Oh, oh my God. Okay, talk about bouncing. Wow. Okay, when I got Radisson, 
Radson's my old boxer that I had. Anyway, when he was a puppy, we had a huge crate for him. So his first night there, he actually was in the office. Well, we kept hearing shaboom, shaboom, shaboom. And he, you know, he's barking and he's crying. That little shit was going to the back of the cage thing, crate, whatever, you know, running forward, slamming his head in it, moving it across the floor. So needless wow. to say, he was brought into the bedroom and then he was fine. But Oh, good night, Thomas. Oh, good night, Thomas. I forgot. It's he left a little while ago. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> yeah, it was uh he was such a good boy. Mhm. Mm it is past 7. We don't have anything. It is though. past 7. 7. Well, 7 her time. Oh. 9 here. Uh, Lisa dropped the Christmas tree on her first grandson when he was like two days old. Really? Damn. Has he, did he grow up with like branches because the needle pierced him and the DNA got in there and it was like, really, really, Ed? Really? Yeah. That's, that's a legitimate no. question. Really? No. Yeah. It's, 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 no. it's, take, take your, it's an illegitimate hot, question. Take, take your hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I was going to say, you have a pop over there. A pop? Oh. Your penis pop. You mean this one? No, the penis pop. Oh. You mean this one that broke three of my toofuses <laughs> on Friday? <laughs> Miss Tanya had a little bit of wine and didn't know her own strength. Now, I'm like, I, I, I did my freaking jaw was hurting trying to open wide for her and because her aim was like clink 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 bang i'm like oh my god good thing i'm going to the dentist this week he could just do the rest of them boy vey yeah well let's see what else is in here bubbles ah one for you what bubbles is the name of this one i don't know if it's going to involve toes or not <laughs> We used to have 12 free-range chickens in our backyard, including one chicken, Bubbles, who was our favorite. One Christmas, his brothers and he were playing when he heard squawking in the backyard, went to check, found a hawk sitting on in the backyard, hunched over the decapitated body of Bubbles. Oh, my God. Uh, ooh, wow, okay. I'm not even going to read the rest of that one. I thought this was, like, you know, funny disasters. <laughs> My aunt got way too drunk, accused different family members of pooping in her shower, <coughs> then eventually passed out and peed herself. Well, okay. Gra granddad's on fire. Why is granddad on fire? Uh, everybody was trying to balance their spoons on their noses. Grandfather got up to take a photo, and suddenly I noticed a reflection of flames in the window behind him. He backed up towards the window where there were loads of candles, and his shirt caught fire. Grandma managed to put it out just in time, leaving a huge hole in the back of his shirt. Wow. Picture the scene. Just sat down at dinner. Dining table was straining under the weight of food, mom's best china, and crystal wine glasses. Ooh. All of a sudden, the candelabra that was hanging above the table falls from the ceiling and smashed everything all over. Really? So much for that. Uh, whatever. You know, Some of those were good. The, the, the second half were kind of lame. Didi the tree man. Oh, my God. So, yeah, like people, do you notice Paul is still not on? Uh, Yeah, you might have to, like, reach out to that guy. I just sent him a text. Oh. Like, what the hell? What can I do with this hot dog uh, hat there, Joe? Does it involve C-Block? <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's not so. All right, now I'll try to get some uh, nine o'clock drinkage uh, for, for uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Actually, I just thought of something. <clears throat> what? Um, today is my personal one year anniversary. There you go. Because the comment you're trying to react to is deleted. Wow, that's weird. Oops. 
that wasn't supposed to be wow. Okay. Anyway, uh, Liz, do you think, Liz asked me, do you think our parents think we were Christmas disasters? <laughs> Liz and I both have a birthday of Christmas Eve. So yeah, now, now the screen froze. So uh, I often have told people that my parents tried to return me and didn't have the receipt, so they had to keep me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's a very sad tale, actually. Well, I can tell you, I I was told always that I was a birth control baby. A birth control baby? Yes. That you somehow beat the birth control? I did. That is why you absolutely beat everyone. Hands, dildos. Oh, I made it to 913. <laughs> Did you slip? <laughs> you almost... uh, so, e. Hey, I, I'm being nice tonight. You are, actually. So. Uh -huh, I said you are. Oh, my God. Every time he says that, he's like, I said you are. <laughs> I did. I do. Just does like it when, all the uh, time. I'm like, really? Really? Yes. I am. I is. Mm hmm Okay, continue. Urgh. Can you continue here? That thing is done. Can you do something jo here? Hello, John. Hello, John. Honey just joined. Um, let's see. Hmm. Whoa, cautionary Thanks, Christmas John. tales. Fireplace fiasco. Oh, that's good. First time they used the fireplace last year. They forgot to open up the flue. Oh, nice. I realized this with a roaring fire already blazing, so I opened it. But I had another brilliant idea. Get rid of the smoke from the house, house with an attic fan, right? Wrong. The fan pulled in all the smoke right out of the chip. What, you're supposed what, to what, blow what, it what into the think? fucking fireplace. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do that, you don't blow it out. Dumbass. Uh-huh. Everything, clothes, house, smelled like fireplace for days. Well, duh. And they have a they have 20-foot ceilings and an open balcony, so they just opened up the windows and doors upstairs. Okay. Like, dude, Can we move on dude, to the next one? dude. Yawn, uh, let's yawn. see. Dinner and tile job. Whoa, whoa. Anytime somebody says job, I get excited. <laughs> One year, <laughs> we were invited to dinner only to show up and find a host's kitchen completely torn apart and a box of tiles on the floor waiting to be installed. Oh. My husband helped lay tile just so we would have somewhere to prep, serve, and eat the meal we were supposed to be having that night. Ugh. So this was, yeah, pretty bad. Nice. Now that's on Christmas? Yeah, like I guess Christmas Eve. Yeah. Excuse or, me. Oh no, no. If it you're was... going to have people over, and you know you're going to have people over, you get this shit done before. This, it was not actually on the day. It was, but it was a holiday dinner. It was a Christmas dinner. But still. Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, you don't let your f f invitees come over and. Uh, <clears throat> no. And like install your tile. Dumbass. So, this person, uh, her mom was coming over. She was all excited about it. She gets the turkey in the oven at just the right time. An hour later, went to check on it and found out that her range was dead on arrival. Okay. Oh, the next door neighbor had a double oven and uh, let her cook it over there. Save the day. Yep. Okay, move on. Let's see. Some of these things are freaking just stupid. Dumbasses. <clears throat> well, yeah, I mean that too. First Christmas party in a new house, but it's a 1930s house. Uh, she went to water the Christmas tree and noticed that the tree skirt and towel were both sopping wet. Soon we discovered that our tree stand had been leaking for days, if not weeks. Uh, nice. So all the water leaked out of it onto the oak floors. Nice. She was so upset. But how do you not her... notice that when you're going to water the tree? I mean, you're pouring water, and at some point, it's not filled up, or or maybe yeah. it filled. Maybe it was a small <clears throat> like. Yeah, but still, crack. if you're if you're filling the water, if it's going to be around the tree thing, you know, the skirt, you're going to notice that it's wet. You should. You should notice it soon. Yeah. I mean, I understand if it's like a like a when you get a 
hairline fracture, if it's a hairline crack in the bowl or the metal, whatever, whether it's bowl or porcelain or whatever, mm -hmm. you may fill it up and not notice it. And then it's leaking out and you realize in a day you got to fill it again. Like you said, at some point you're going to lean in there and the freaking skirt's going to be right. saturated. But I mean, if she's talking about weeks, well, by now you should have noticed it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she was so pissed off. She had her husband pick the tree up, ornaments, lights and all, and chuck it out the door. <laughs> After cleaning up, they went out and got a, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? A, Artificial. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to say. That, yeah, the Christmas party was only hours away. We got a new fake tree lit and decorated with time to spare. It's nice. just like, oh, nice. Fire. Stupidly left some oil to heat on the stove when the doorbell rang. So she was expecting relatives from abroad okay. that she hadn't seen in forever. So after greetings and helping them to the rooms with their bags, forgot about the oil and returned to the kitchen. And there's a fierce flame. She tried to put the fire out or he tried to put the fire out himself ended up calling 911 because i guess he tried to like i don't know dump water on it i was gonna say probably put water on it dumbass family was terrified daughter was hiding under hiding under the table <laughs> uh there's now an extinguisher in this kitchen yeah like um <clears throat> yeah how about you cover it maybe use some salt yeah salt flour yeah Something. Anything but water. Yes. Dog and kid friendly holiday parties were the thing at this family's house. One year, they ended up with six rowdy kids and a pup, all mesmerized with the tree. Hmm. They heard a crash, and the tree was lying on its side in a living room. Mm -hmm. It was total drag. Nice. Well, what do you think is going to happen when you got six kids and a dog running around the freaking tree? <laughs> I mean, really, how old are these kids? Like four, five, six, and seven, or like uh -huh. 15, 18, 20, 22? I mean, at least the older ones just go outside and smoke a joint. And they'd be like, dude, look at a tree. <laughs> uh, oh, this guy fell off a ladder with Christmas lights in hand. Yeah. The shrubs nice. broke his fall. Nice. That still had to hurt. Yeah. Uh oh, sick dog. Uh-oh. Another thing. The dog found the freaking sweets and chocolates. Oh, my God. The dog survived. That's the good part. But still. How about, hello? Yeah. No. Just like dumbass here leaving Tootsie Rolls on the fucking couch. Yeah. That was a damn shame. John said you look sad. Hello, Robert. Nope. I'm just listening to him babble. <laughs> Babalicious. Yes. Hello, Robert. Yeah. This girl's aunt bought a new house north of nowhere in the country. Mm -hmm. GPS didn't even know that there were roads in the area. So after getting lost and arriving at 2 a.m., we got on the street and realized it was completely unlit and couldn't make out house numbers from car from the car to save, save our lives. They stopped, started knocking on doors in the middle of the night. Walking up to random people. Hello, can you answer the door? And if you're that far in the country, chances are those people are going to go. Yes. When you knock on the door at 2 a.m. Yeah. God. Well, you would think even if you got to talk to one person, you would think that one person would be like, no, that would be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, can't get there from here. You go down there to the freaking tree with a little knock on the side, and then you t go 20 steps, make a left, look at the squirrel, 20 more steps, and that should be her house. That was bad. Okay. I was trying to merge a bunch of different things together. That was not good. <laughs> uh, Sorry. This is definitely not you. The first Christmas that uh, her husband and her were married, it was nine degrees. Ooh, they lived in the South, too. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So, uh, the furnace was constantly running, and it was yet still as cold inside as it was out. Our feet burned when we walked barefoot on the wood floors. Why would you be barefoot when it's so cold? Our feet, for one thing. Yeah, like, 
our pipes, the pipes had frozen and burst. We had five foot long icicles hanging in the house. Unless it was like a uh, freezer burn kind of thing, right. I guess. Well, duh. Okay, let's move past that. Wow. Come on. And? And what? And? There's nothing left on that story. Okay, well then move let's on. Let's say, uh, previous owners cut a hole into the flu. Why? Uh, I don't know why. Maybe they should have <laughs> just cleaned the chimney. They... They put a foil pie plate in the flue to close off the hole. One day in mid-December, <laughs> their 11-year-old son was hopping around with excitement about an animal in the chimney. And lady gets on her hands and knees, looks into the flue, and staring at a squirrel like four inches from her face. Nice. Wait, and, uh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know if anyone can see it. I have a scar from getting bit by a squirrel Wait, it's mm -hmm. the, not not the burn it's up here it's right okay. there okay see it there yep. it is okay anyway um but that's because i was a hyper child and i chased this squirrel until i caught it and i caught it <laughs> so it bit me, and then I, I went running in the house. My dad comes out. The squirrel decided he was going to chase my dad. <laughs> I thought you caught it. I did catch it, but then it bit me, so I dropped oh, it. Oh, okay. dumbass. I thought it bit you first, and then you caught it. No. Oh. It's because I chased this thing until I caught it. He, I got you. This was this inside or outside? This was outside. Oh, I thought it was inside too. Please, I was up and down trees. I was all over the place after yes, this you thing. Were. I was I was a hyper little kid, so you were you probably ran up trees. You didn't even have to climb. You just like literally. So the thing, thing jumped into the living room, ran around. And so that's the end of those. This thing once again. No comments coming up. I got Hello, refresh. Hello, John. Hello, John. Which <laughs> John? Okay, so. I don't know what's going on with this uh, I don't computer. know. Computer. Why it, it, it like will show a few comments and in the comments it won't freeze, but the comments stop scrolling. And uh, I just read Ant Anthony's uh, thing. My cousin had lights on his tree. One light was out, so he put his finger in the sock to see if it was good. <laughs> we now call him Sparky. <laughs> oh, uh, Lord. Yes. That's hilarious. So, Sparky. Yes. Um, so who, uh, okay. what? John, who, who was the John that came in? John, it's covered by the... Yeah, I know. It's just another John. It doesn't matter. Keep talking. It's another will John. You? Can can you keep talking here? Joe said you're still hyper, sweetheart. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm very mellow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not hyper. Not me. So where's this? Uh... Should we look at this advent calendar thingy? Um. Well, I want to hear something good. Okay, let's see if uh, let's see what's in here. Uh, Christmas countdown advent advent calendar with twenty four squishy toys. Oh. Let's see. Oh no, that's not. Do we have penis in there? No, that's like a kids thing. Um, no. Let's see. Tingle Touch Advent Calendar for Couples. There you go. Daring December. Uh, do you wish your relationship was romantic? I wish it would like. Let's see. Activities can be either fun, romantic, or adventurous. And fit your schedule. There's always a choice between doing something quick and easy and something a bit more advanced. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not letting us open any of these things. Advent calendar for adults, sexy men and funny messages, perfect white elephant gift, funny gift for women. There you go. Oh, and just so you know, when Diane's I think about, thing you got here today. 
Diane's what? <laughs> her thingy? Her thingy got here today. What's her thingy? She got a thingy coming. Okay, she shipped it to you? No. It's a present? Yes. Oh. She okay. got a thingy today. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Here you go. This would be this would be good for you. What? All these hot dudes, bare chested, etc. Oh, One guy's really? uh when I think about you, I touch my elf. Can I help? Not you. Show me those <laughs> sugar plums. Santa wants to show you his North Pole. The okay. dude's holding like a six foot candy cane. <laughs> Save an extra dollar when you apply this saving certificate. Details here. <laughs> Satisfaction guaranteed. If you're not happy with your purchase for any reason, we will give you your money back. <laughs> oh boy! All right, I'm not seeing the uh, the first one he pulled up. Let's see. Uh, oh come on! Let's see. Twenty. I, I want to see. Uh, okay. It's uh, not. Edgina. What? I think you need to come up with a. Christmas you are song for this evening before for this sign, evening before we sign out yeah no but Wednesday I just started writing one. Oh, did you uh before the show started and I'm about halfway through really yes okay and I'm taking this with me so you don't see it <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting it. <laughs> I know that. You've often said that you're not getting it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm in the same boat. So I think different boat going different directions, but you get the idea. Okay, so let me close that baby out. I don't see uh, anything else on my list here. I got away with one whack of the dildo. Say, I was very nice today. You were extremely nice. I've been very nice. I mean, you know, I, it, it almost hurts me. I'm so it's, nice it's today. Amazing. I think, oh yes. my God, <clears throat> it feels like it's 102. I know, I'm feverish. You must be. You must be, yes. You were very nice. I know. It, 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 two it, fevers it, make you do things <coughs> completely opposite. It pains me that I've been so nice, okay? Yeah, that's all right, because as soon as we sign off, it'll pain me that you held it in for an hour. <laughs> Ow, oh, eat, er, er. I'll go to my dentist looking like this. Dude, dude, Tanya did this. <laughs> okay. Speaking of which. Okay, are you going to... That might be. Oh, yeah. I think it's Thursday. No, I'm supposed to. You're. I, mine's tomorrow. Tomorrow. You're tomorrow. Mine's Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have to go get my teeth cleaned. Teeth is 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 is. is. Ooh. Yes. So, uh, I guess. So, it's carry on. Time to say goodbye to all our friends and family. You and wait, should I do the birthday version? Yes. You and you S U A L R A D It's an honor of Tanya. Yes. But I now you say unusual radio. Unusual radio. Unusual radio. Unusual radio. <laughs> Unusual radio. <laughs> that other way was hard. It was difficult to say that. Nobody. I think my voice box got a sprain. Nobody can sing happy birthday quite like me. <laughs> Back. Where's that lighter? I need a lighter. I'm going to light. <laughs> my brother loved it, though. <laughs> yes, your brother's as sick as we are. So. Now. The whole thing is, I did not sing it once, but twice. Twice?
twice on the show, right? And once out there before the show. No, twice before the show. Oh, twice before the show. That's true. You're well, we, that's right. You did once alone, and then we all joined in for the second. <clears throat> no, then I had to sing it again. In here? No, I sang by myself out there twice. Okay. And then we sang. I didn't remember you doing it twice by yourself. I did do it twice. Okay. So, anyway. Okay, Everyone, thank you for joining us. Uh, we will be back on Wednesday. Try to stay warm, dry, comfy, safe, and healthy. And oh, uh, like, what's that noise? Ignore that. I saw it. Um, <laughs> 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 and we will see you on Wednesday. Till then. <laughs> happy humping. It'll be hump day. Yes, it'll be happy humping.